you share some examples of, uh, I know you offer consultancy service around it. Mm. Um, on what different, uh, some examples of what your organization offers to help businesses discover purpose beyond profit, such as I think you have your leadership and cultural training, uh, creativity and marketing strategy services. Mm. If you could give some examples of that so that it starts to come alive in, in you yeah. know, how it can manifest in an organization. One of the biggest things I do is is exactly what we're doing right now is hold conversations. Because again, once you have these discussions, both with the leadership or the team below them, there are very few people that don't come away from those sessions, A, feeling inspired, so feeling energized, feeling ready to, you know, to take on change, to consider other people around them, to, to look at their own communication style. Um, but B, to, to start that process with an elevation, as I said, of what empathy is, there, there is a lot of misunderstanding of what empathy is. Is it compassion? Is it kindness? All of these things, which of course it's not, um, but really clarifying. So a lot of my time is spent in, in keynote speaking and on stages and those types of things, literally elevating the conversation. Um, but below that, we do lots of workshops. We do lots of workshops with team around um, linguistics in the workplace, communication, teamwork, how you can listen more, how you can create more um, sort of high performing communicative teams. Lots of talk around, as I said, neurolinguistics and how you can shift language in very small ways to make very sort of big impact.